Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious braised fish with tomato and pineapple. And today I'm using shad. American shad are very high in omega-3 and fatty acids. The common place to cut shad here in Oregon is at Bonneville Dam. Shad spend most of their life in the Atlantic Ocean but swim up to the freshwater river during spring or early summer. Usually when the river water has warmed to 50 or 55 degrees Fahrenheit, every year shad will swim up freshwater river to spawn. If they survive breeding, they will return back to the sea and return to the fresh water to spawn several times. The adult shot weighed between 3 to 8 pounds or 1.4 to 3.6 kilogram. We usually clean our shrap by just cutting the head and take their gut out and also separate their egg because we can cook a really nice dish with their egg. I usually wrap the fish with the plastic wrap before I freeze them so it doesn't stick together. And today I'm using about four medium-sized shad. It's weigh almost eight pounds or three and a half kilogram. To marinate the fish, I'm using two tablespoons of salt, one teaspoon of crushed black pepper, one tablespoon of chicken flavor mix, it's optional. Also five cloves of chopped garlic. And we're cutting the fish about two inch wide. As you can hear the sound of the fish bone. This fish have a lot of bone. Um, when we chop this, um, the fish is still frozen. Now adding salt, chicken flavor mix, the black pepper and garlic. Try not to disturb the fish to maintain its shape and um, we're gonna sh just shake it like that and leave it alone. So let us marinate at least 30 minutes to an hour. I'm using about two pounds of tomato and I harvest this from my backyard and my mom is uh, removing the tomato skins because if we use the tomato, the whole thing, um, the skin will float to the top and we don't want that so we're just going to remove it. The easy way to do it is you can also soak them in the hot water and you can peel the skin off really easily. After we remove all the tomato skin, we're gonna finely chop it into smaller pieces. I'm using two tablespoons of palm sugar. Also, if you don't have palm sugar, you can just use regular sugar. And also three tablespoons of regular white sugar, three tablespoons of fish sauce, And I also add two tablespoons of water to help diluting. In case you don't want to use white sugar, you, you have palm sugar, you can use five tablespoons of palm sugar or five tablespoons of regular white sugar. And we're gonna caramelize it until it change into dark brown. After that, we're adding the fish sauce. Now we can add the tomato. We're gonna bring this to boil 
and let it simmer for a few minutes before adding the fish. Please try not to stir it too much uh, to prevent the fish from breaking the meat. And we're gonna let it simmer for at least 5 to 10 minutes. And don't forget to remove the scum that float to the top. It will prevent or help reduce the fishiness from the dish. And at this point, you can taste if you like the flavor of your braised fish. You can adjust it according to your preference. You can add salt or sugar according to what you like. I'm using about half a pineapple cut into about an inch thick and if you don't have fresh pineapple you can also use canned pineapple and now let's put our pineapple into the bottom of our pan and then add our fish on top and I'm using a slow cooker You can set it on high for two hours and then set it to low for another six to eight hours. And the easiest way, if you cook it before you go to bed, you can just set it on low for 12 hours. So by the time you get up, you have the braised fish ready for you. After 10 to 12 hours, our fish is ready to be served. As you can see, after a long time cooking, our fish still holding its shape and size. And I wish you could smell the aroma. Even though it looks like it doesn't change the shape at all, but the bone is completely cooked through and it's soft. You can also serve this with lime or young mango along with the basil by just adding a little bit of lime juice will make the dish taste even better there's another way you can enjoy the dish is with fresh young mango There's two ways of shredding your young mango. You can just directly chop the mango and thin slice it, or you can use the shredder. Whatever is easy for you. As you can see, the one with the shredder is fine and small, and the one with the knife, regular knife, is kind of chunky. I prefer the chunky one, but it's your preference. You can choose whatever you like. And if you like it spicy, you can add some fresh chopped chili. And add the shredded mango. As you know, the young mango is a little sour, so it's really complement the dish really well. And with the basil, let's make the dish to another level. So I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a try. It's not difficult to make and tastes really good. You can enjoy this with steamed rice or rice porridge or even bread. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again in the next video.